passion behind the collection? Um, I suppose it's been coming for about two years in the, you know, in the small picture, but the big picture it's been coming for a long time. So the inspiration is, I suppose, real women and how women want to feel and, and the details that they feel comfortable with about celebrating woman and body shape and yeah and, and also about being realistic about what people want to wear. Did Brandon have to put himself into women's shoes to be able to do that? Like how, how does it work? I think we share an aesthetic, you know, so we have a very similar aesthetic which is quite clean, quite simple. It's about, you know, small details for us. It's not about embellishment or, you know, bold statements. It's actually about, I suppose, letting the woman shine and letting the clothes, you know, help. So what are your aspirations from the future? We want Len and Courtney to be um, a brand that has a presence throughout Europe. Yes. Are you happy? I'm thrilled. I, we got through it, yeah. I mean, it's been a two-year project, you know. We've been working really hard. Um, and I really believe in the clothes. I really like them. They're very simple. Yeah. They're very low-key. There's a dress that you would love, the hero dress. It's yes. a, and then you can dress Beautiful. it up in whatever way you want. So they're like, they're wardrobe staples. They're, they're pieces that you can have. When you open your wardrobe, you're greeted by friends, not enemies. And so yeah. they're basic, solid basics. And then everything you do, whether you style it yourself, we want people to feel that like they can style their own clothes. So start with the foundation and then build from there. So Sonia and yourself love each other so much, so much that you decided that you would even create a line together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that happen? It was a development process, you know. We we had fantasized as teenagers. I had gone back to college a few years ago and started oh. sketching, and so okay. wow. and then the opportunity is sort of arose. So it's kind of a, it was more of a sort of a military. You know, it just happened really one day. We were like, let's do it. So we, we had the confidence to do it now, so we did it. And like, for you being a man, how challenging was it like, to create? It's much easier Is to it? make a woman feel beautiful. Yeah, yeah I love women. <laughs> I'm not so crazy about men. <laughs> well, <I love> that. <laughs> don't check my Facebook. <laughs> I'm trying that too. But that was beautiful tonight. Thank you, do you like it? And, oh, honestly, yeah. I Thank you. It. So what are your aspirations from the future? Going. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, be happy with what I'm doing. So any, any thought of creating a line for men? No. No? No, no, no. no. Why not? No, because okay. I, want, I want to look the most special in the room. Oh, I don't want to share the limelight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Well, thank you. That was good. It's so good to see you. I love you. Mwah. What I think the guys are doing is they've given us beautiful basic collections like the silk dresses, the silk blouses and it's basically, it's up to us to style them yeah. as we wish. Uh, it's very Brendan and Sonia. Yeah. You take it in whatever direction you want to take, you know, okay. depending on what shoes you put with it, what jewellery, what type of hair. Like they contrasted it tonight with the kind of you know, Studio 54, disco music at the beginning, yeah. and the big hair, and then the very kind of basic styles, but they put it with like the Labutan type of shoes and made it kind of very ladylike.